The Northeast Regional Minister, Zakaria Idana, has assured the chiefs and inhabitants that individuals involved in orchestrating attacks in several communities within the Bumprubu district and violating the law will be brought to justice. The minister made this known when he inaugurated the Nalerigu 50 Town Integrated Recycling, Composting and Waste Treatment Plant in the Northeast region to help in the recycling and treatment of solid waste in the region. Creation of the inaugural 40 ton integrated recycling compost and waste treatment facilities spearheaded by the Jospon group of companies and its partners in Nalerigu is projected to yield over 200 direct employment opportunities and 400 jobs indirectly within the region. The treatment plant is poised to facilitate the conversion of waste materials into organic fertilizer which will be readily utilized by the majority of local farmers. Consequently, this initiative is expected to ameliorate environmental pollution while concurrently fostering economic growth in the area and providing a vital income source for the surrounding communities. During the inauguration of the recycling plant in Nalerigu, the regional minister, Zakaria Yidana, addressed the chiefs and people of the region, emphasizing the importance of integrating peace into the efforts to resolve the Bumprugu conflict, aiming to foster peace and reconciliation. To call on my brothers and sisters, the feuding factions in Bukhobo, to lay down their weapons and embrace peace. For without peace, all the development we are getting in this region will come to loss. But I want to give a firm assurance that we are doing everything that is possible within our capacity to make sure that those who have caused infraction and breaches of the law Deputy Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, Amidu Isaaku Chinia, advised the various metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies to capitalize on the treatment plants within their respective districts to do away with filth. May I further ask the plant managers to collaborate with the local NGOs and stakeholders to develop sustainable waste management solutions and drive positive environmental change in the communities within the plant catchment. With this facility in place, we do not expect the assemblies within the catchment to have difficulty in disposal of solid waste in the region. The general manager of the compost plant, engineer Samuel Numi, said that the plants can cover approximately 90% of the waste sent to the treatment plant across regions. Ghana is uh, generating between 12 and 13,000 tons of uh, waste every day. When you look at all the plants we have now, we are able to uh, re re receive and treat most of that. Most of that. In the past, there were no plants, but gradually now we have plants in all the regions. So we now have national coverage and we are able to receive and process all the waste from all the regions. The chiefs appeal to the management of Jospon group of companies to prioritize local residents in employment.